So this is the cylinder back today's Wednesday afternoon. We just got the cylinder back just a little bit ago. Sister brought Samantha brought it up here to us. And uh, you can see it's all clean from where they packed it. Now this one right here is gravy to pack, and we could have packed it ourselves, but man, you know, heck, we've been doing this junk so long, I mean, it's just simpler to let somebody else do it sometimes and everything. But we had the cylinder off last year. This whole eye busted on this thing. So we took it to them, and they, they machined us a new eye, and they welded it on. That thing didn't run. Well, that thing didn't run just a day or two, did it, Kevin? It wasn't long, was it? it when that eye, when this thing broke off right here, and then I welded it back. Oh, no, it run for a while there. Yeah. It on there. Yeah, it did. Well, it, they welded it on, and it snatched off right there. It broke, and then I welded it. I welded it back on myself. We didn't have time to take it off. I just fixed it and everything, but we finna stick it on. Thing with Tommy. Yeah. That's right. They see it just sits right here. Got a pin that goes through there. And that goes up to there. Very simple. I had one guy comment about the how you take these cylinders apart. And he was right. If all of them had a gland on it or a rod guide on it like that right there, that would be lovely. Lovely. Because sometimes, this whole war tower right here has got those kinds of cylinders on it. Same. Got the bolt-on rod guides or glands. But uh, some of them don't. And man, you're talking about it painful. So we're fixing to uh, pin her up here. We got one end, don't it? We're pulling the caps off now. That allows us to pull the rod out a little bit to set it right there then. Boy, that's good and tight too, Kevin. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. watch all yeah. the grease now. You've, yeah. been had, you've been had it all over That's here, right. Man. That's what you want. You want that rod to be good and tight in all those seals. That means it's gonna seal good. Leave all this loose, Tommy. Don't right. get them tighten all this up here in just a minute. Does any shims go up here? Yeah, we got two shims to go out there, okay. also. So it's all the way all back right. on. You see how they got these keepers done? That's a that, that pin is slotted right there with like a keyway in it, and that keeper slides in there like that. Let's put two and then that in. bolt, the same on each end. Now, we got to do we got the cats off right here. Put the lines back on it. Yeah. Two out. Ring out. Yeah, I, the I hope these O-rings out. So if y'all want to see how these things seal, an O-ring seal, see that rubber right there? It's a, it's a groove. See that seal coming out of there? That's what it seals. A scuba tank does the same thing. It seals the same way. It goes in there. And then the fitting right here it's flat, and that flat face goes up against that rubber O-ring right there. So you just pop it out like that. You got the new one, kid? Let's see okay. it right there. Yeah. See, there's, a, yeah. there's a new one, and it just goes right in there. Sometimes they're a little bit large, a little bit bigger than what they need to be. And sometimes they, they don't, they'll, they'll fit, but they'll fall out. And if they go to fall out, you just take some grease and put some, get some grease, and put some grease on them, and that grease will hold them in the slot till you get it, get the fitting on there. See, just roll, are a little bit different. just roll right in there. Yeah, I said them keepers are a little yeah. bit different. I may have put the wrong keeper in the wrong spot. See how much thicker, you see how much thicker that one is than that one right there? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It fits that one real good. Yeah, because the slots, the slots, the slots are machined for it. So right. It's almost like it's probably going to be right.